now coming to these uh fetishes right <laughs> look i've said before and i stand by these things now first of all i'll come to the little context of this but i'll give you just a generic rule that as imam malik's teacher said that what a couple do consenting between them is their business what is behind closed doors and it's for nobody else to get involved i do stand by that and that is the understanding generally within the school of medina now i don't know now coming to this particular issue i don't know if you guys remember but a while back there was the whole tariq ramadan thing and the thing that came out in the papers i don't know if you remember the the details <laughs> the kink <laughs> the kinky details so it came out that you know that people some of the the women that were holding him for the allegations i'm not sure whether the allegations were entirely overturned in the end or not but they were making allegations i think that, i think they were uh, maybe rape allegations as well they may have been or just violence but part of it the lady had said uh, the the person making the allegation that he would ask her to he would urinate over her so or she would urinate over him i can't remember the details now but it was it was really popular it became a huge thing internationally with the tariq ramadan case so this thing of this fetish of urinating over a, a spouse or defecating as disgusting as it may be right now this was discussed amongst people that is this haram in islam if somebody was to do it now naturally it would be <laughs> very <laughs> i'm sure only a certain minded people would find it very fascinating and most people would find it disgusting but if you find it disgusting does it make it haram in islam so the question is is it haram so i had said well these things are not haram in islam like like let's say there is urine in a toilet and you decide to put your hand in so all the books of fiqh discuss that touching making contact with anything impure is not haram okay it's just unclean unhygienic and it's it's obviously it's quite sickening to a lot of people rightly so but but it doesn't make it haram you don't say well god's going to throw you in hell and burn you for doing this it's not like that so this discussion uh, that was the context to it that people you a few it's been what I, i can't remember now since the tariq ramadan case i think it's been about 4 years so so some people were discussing this and they'd asked that isn't this haram so my response which is still the same that these kinks or things like this as sickening as they may be to people doesn't make them haram haram means you are saying god is going to flip you in hell and burn you with fire <laughs> <laughs> because you did this that's ridiculous that's absurd so no these things are not haram okay it doesn't mean you have to do them you know there's many things that we may find sickening like look here's a simple thing yeah that people would find sickening <laughs> yeah i'm sure like look at just okay people <laughs> prepare to be grossed out <laughs> but look at like snot that comes out of person's nose yeah Look, look look how disgusting and sickening that is to 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 people uh, rightly so I'd say now imagine somebody said I want okay guys I'm grossing you out <laughs> imagine somebody had some sick fetish of wanting that all over them or wanting to consume it and eat it like look how disgusting that is does that make it haram it wouldn't you see it's a very dumb reductionist way of thinking that everything you don't like or are disgusted by therefore god will punish a person with hell fire <laughs> for it i mean that's not how god works god doesn't work by oh oh you find it disgusting therefore i'm going to punish the person with hell you know for it so it doesn't work like that and that is why a lot of the clergy are completely <laughs> <laughs> they've completely lost their mind and then the other thing is the clergy are usually a very sexually suppressed group of people so they hate on anything sexual anyway just you know just being clear i mean a lot of the clergy feel that just many general sexual things are prohibited because they're disgusting 
you know, oral sex is disgusting to them. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> this stuff to them is like, you know, what the hell? That's Satan. <laughs> You know, there's people in some of the fic books, they will say that it is disgusting to look at your own wife's private parts. Do you know, in the Hanafi fic books, it actually says that. And it says that if you do this, God will make you blind. <laughs> is this why there's so many short sighted people? <laughs> This is what they say in their fatawa. They say that to just look at is like, it's not only filthy, but God will curse you by turning you blind if you continue to do this, if you continue to look at it. I mean, that's just dumb. And, and you know, people, they will, this is why you get a lot of uh, their stories. I mean, these are anecdotal, but you'll get stories of people that are like, Tabliki Jamaat and so obsessed and then they won't do things like even look at their own wives' breasts. <laughs> their wives' breasts. <laughs> like, they'll be like, Toba, 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 yaar. Toba, yaar. Allah, ye, <laughs> what does God make me, what situations does God put me in? <laughs> I'm serious. I'm not making this up. There's actual, you know, like Tabliki people that will think that this is, you know, it's like uh it's like a dire necessity that you have to just see your own wife's breasts. Like they think like, you know, God, toba, toba. May, may the Lord have mercy on me and forgive me. <laughs> because this is the kind of depraved, um, you know, you get that kind of very, um, what's, what's this, this kind of like uh, ascetic, hermetic, kind of outlook on life that anything associated with any sexual desire is always sickening, which it isn't. So it's basically, yeah, just neo-incels. These Most of these mullahs and mulvis are just incels, man. <laughs> Involuntary. Because they because their lifestyle is so like, yeah, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and so th this is why they get so, they're always so angry, always so... You know, so much temper in them. They're ne never, hardly ever smiling. You don't see these people smiling. You don't see them laughing. You don't see them ever just enjoying life. They're just, oh, oh, these women, fitna, fitna, you go to hell. Oh, oh. And they're probably, and you know, obviously, they're just uh, married to a cousin that just looks like them. I, f I feel sorry for the cousin, actually, to be fair. Right, so let's uh, let's move on, people. Yeah, so that's... But I thought that's a good point to mention that because people had said... I saw some people uh, spreading that online, like they saying, this mufti didn't declare these fetishes haram. I don't declare the. Of course I don't declare them. I'm not God. <laughs> I mean, you show me in the Quran where God has said it, it's haram. And then I'll say it's haram if God hasn't said it. Who the hell are you? Know, it doesn't mean you have to do it for God's sake. You know? <laughs> so, 